Hello YouTube. Let's take a look at official AICP ROM for Android one. So this is the latest build of AICP that I am using right now. And I have been using this ROM for the past seven days. And the first thing that you will notice in AICP is how fast this ROM is. This ROM is really fast. It's it's really fast and it's really stable also. And the number of bugs that it has is very less that this is a really nice room. So guys what makes AICP special is these AICP extras under settings. This has all the tweaks that this ROM has to offer to a user. So all these tweaks are categorized into different headings. So first let's jump into various shit. Under various shit you have you can disable the force close notification that you get when an app is force closed you can also show whether like this that showing here like this in this uh, in the notification drawer then you can also have lock screen weather which will show weather in the lock screen you can also customize every part of that lock screen weather widget from here and also there is an option for customizing the lock screen colors you can customize the text as well as icon. You can also customize the settings for torch. It's and also there is an option for customizing the boot animation. If you have any boot animation file uh, in your SD card, then you can select this boot animation file. From the settings and uh, then you can change that boot animation you do have clock settings this clock settings is just the uh, settings for the clock widget that you get from cyanogen mode under notification drawer you do have your normal tweaks such as customizing the layout of these note quick toggles as well as adding or deleting any quick toggles etc and uh, the extra thing that you get in AICP is that you can have task manager in your notification drawer. That is just turning on the task manager will just give you an icon in your notification drawer. You can see an icon here. Uh, just tapping in that icon will show a task manager. So uh, you can kill an app from here or you can switch apps from here uh, which is a very nice feature to have and you can also switch apps from the notification drawer itself and you can also enable or disable heads up button here that is the button here which will help you to disable or enable heads up notifications from the notification drawer itself you do have slim actions and also disable on lock screen which will disable the quick settings from the lock screen then you do have the quick pull down that is pulling from the left or right will take you to the quick toggles which you can customize and that's the tweaks that you get for that you get in notification drawer and under status bar you have your general tweaks such as clock and date settings and battery settings etc other than these settings you have AICP logo which when you enable you will get a small AICP logo here and you can also have your carrier label here I am using BSNL here so it's showing cell 1 but I tend to off this feature because it takes a lot of space in my status bar you can have the brightness control and also the double tap to sleep in status bar this feature is also present in this room and you also have the network traffic indicator which will indicate the uploading and downloading speed of your data uh, in your status bar that is you can also customize the space where it uh, where it can be shown the uh, normal place is in the extreme left of your status bar so there is also a setting known as greeting which will display a custom greeting in the status bar after unlocking the device 
which is a very nice feature um, so under heads up notification you can either enable or disable heads up notification I, other than this feature you can also customize the swipe behavior and also touch outside behavior of your heads up notification you can also set the timeout for heads up notification and there is an option for uh, blacklisting an app where you don't need heads up notifications and also there is an do not disturb option there and under display and animation you can customize any part any animation of your AICP ROM uh, so you guys can see that I have a small animation here that is the settings are sliding from the right side of my screen of my mobile so you can customize the system animation under system animation you do have many settings which I am not going on now going through on now because you do have many settings under it you can customize each and every part of your systems animations so it takes time for explaining each and every feature so you do have over scrolling effects you can choose it between edge glow effect and bounce effect the stock one is edge glow effect and also over scrolling weight you can customize it um, anyone who have used an exposed module known as Zui mode will know about all these display and animation features you do have the LCD density under display and animation in this room you do have SlimPy features under SlimPy you can either enable or disable it and you can also customize the buttons in your pie the style and dimension also can be customized the color of text background transparency etc and also you can customize the trigger position of this pie the default value is from the left side of the screen you can trigger it from the le left you can also have it from the bottom or right side of the screen so this is a really nice feature and also you can customize the recent panels uh, you do get many customizations in your recent panel you can have clear all recent buttons and I will show you guys how I got this type of recent panel in this ROM uh, and also you can have your memory bar on the top of your reason bar you can either show or disable the search bar in your recents menu so guys you do get two other types of reason panels in this room other than the stock one you do have the omni style one which you can enable from pre under recent panel settings so this is the Omni recent panel uh, which you can have uh, so this one is not that much great I think um, it's not a uh, very useful recent panel so, so you do have slim reasons which I am using right now and which is a which is really nice to have uh, because it helps in multitasking and it's also really fast you guys can see that uh, in slim reasons you get a slide out from your right side of your from right side of your screen in which you do have all your option uh, open apps you can either slide them out or uh, cancel them and the advantage is that you can have the app that you are running right now in the background and which is a nice touch uh, so the other features is that you have gesture anywhere uh, where you can have gestures for each and every apps that you have this is a CM feature and this is available in all signage and mode rooms app circle app circle is another feature which will help you to have shortcuts such as like this and this does have an circle animation to it 
so this is a really nice feature you can also have uh, you can also customize the trigger with trigger position trigger height as well as the apps that are shown in the app circle bar so this is a really nice feature you do have app sidebar feature in which you can have some app shortcuts in this sidebar which will help you to switch between apps easily as well as fastly which is a really nice feature to have you can also customize the trigger bit the uh, trigger height of this app bar and you do have ad blocker in this uh, rom you can uh, enable this ad blocker and it will just disable all ads in all your apps which is a very nice feature and you can also have whitelist for that apps you don't want this ad blocker to work and you do have kernel tweaker in this which will help you to customize each and every part of your kernel so this rom has its own kernel and you can have many customizations to this kernel you can either activate or deactivate each and every core you can either have a single core or you can have four cores and you can also set the maximum as well as minimum frequency you do have customizations in cpu governor you have many options here the default one is interactive and you also have details about your battery life as well as you can customize the io scheduler so there are a ton of customizations that you get uh, in under kernel tweaker kernel tweaker so uh, tweaking anything under this uh, is a real risk so guys uh, you just be sure about what you are doing under kernel tweaker because uh, doing anything bad can have a bad effect on your device so guys uh, then you do have a cp ota in this you, you can get ota updates over their updates uh, directly from AICP this is an official ROM so you can have I am running the latest version of AICP and this does have some bugs into it and I will talk about all these bugs later you also have a clock blocker in this AICP ROM and which is a nice feature to have other than all these tweaks you do have every CM tweaks such as customizations of buttons as well as uh, changing the DPA etc are present in this room and you also have expanded desktop mode under display which is a CM feature and so these are the customizations that you get uh, in AICP room uh, so uh, talking about the battery life in this room battery life has been decent in this room I got about three hours of screen on time in a 10 hours of usage and this ROM does have a really nice standby time you guys can see that um, in this interactive kernel that is the stock interactive uh, governor um, the system only runs on 1.3 gigahertz or 598 megahertz so this may be the reason why this ROM is so smooth because it's running on 1.3 gigahertz um, so talking about the bugs that I have encountered in this ROM it do have every CM bugs such as you cannot switch between your uh, data sims that is you cannot switch between your sim 1 or sim 2 in mobile data switching it will only just reboot your radio as well as turn it into the other sim itself so it's an annoying bug that you have in this room and other than that you sometimes the speaker does not work in this room that is the speaker does not work in YouTube play music normal music app and any other application the speaker does not work and sometimes there is also a bug which will uh, just trigger some random music from your playlist um, so the only way you can uh, stop this random playback of music is just by muting your device and this is a really annoying bug in this room that I have found and I, I have also encountered some force clauses such as dialer app, force clauses, music app and contact app etc. Uh, which is to be expected from a custom ROM. So 
that's my experience about AICP ROM. So just give a try for this ROM guys and links for this ROM is in the description below and also uh, subscribe to my channel as well as like my videos uh, and also stay tuned for more custom ROM reviews for Android one. Uh, I will also be reviewing some exposed modules as well as kernels in the coming weeks. So stay tuned for that guys. Bye.